Did you know that 85% of people scroll through their social media without sound off? That means that your message only reach around 15% of the people watching, unless... Hi, my name is Martin. I'm a photographer, designer and content creator from Sweden. But let's jump into Premiere Pro and I will show you my top three ways of showing text on screen that has helped me reach millions on social media. All right, so we have our first project here and you might recognize it. It's uh, an intro or part of an intro from an earlier video. But what we can do here, if we want to add some text on the screen, we can go to our um, workspaces and we can choose caption and graphics. And now we can go up here and choose text and we can transcribe the sequence. And if we press this, we get some settings here. Uh, I think you can just leave it as it is and choose transcribe. And once it's done, you can see it up here. It says speaker one and here is the whole thing. So when it looks good, you can press this create captions button here. This is where you kind of set up the settings for your captions. To start off with, I usually leave caption presets as default, format, subtitles, and style none. But down here, I usually change the maximum length in characters to very short because I want only one word to appear at a time. So I'm bringing this down, I'm bringing down the minimum duration to the bottom as well, which is 1.2 gap between captions frame zero and we want it to be only single lines we want to, we don't want the double line take so this looks about right let's press create and now Premiere Pro is going to create a caption for you and as you can see up here uh, you can see all the timestamps for all of the different uh, captions and what it has done is also that it has created a uh, subtitle layer here in the timeline so if we just look at it how it looks right now the Lightroom is the place where you take Good to great. And with these 15 hacks or tips. Already it looks pretty good, but what we can do is we can go to, let's say, the first one. And if we want to change uh, the style and font of this, we can go. And what I like doing is using the font Bebas Noi. It's one that I think looks really good. And I'm going to increase the size of it. I mean, it is for social media, right? And we don't want it here at the bottom, we want to move it up a little bit because when you post on social media, for the most part, you have some thing like the captions of the video or something at the bottom. So we want to move it up a little bit, maybe somewhere around that. Then I also like, with this font, I like to drag the letters apart a little bit. Something like this. Uh, the fill can be white, we don't want the shadow. Um, I think that looks pretty good. You can change the color. Another cool effect is if you want to do just a stroke, so you have like this. Let's say you're happy with this. Now you, if you watch it again, you can see that only the first uh, caption uh, was the one that got affected by the changes. But what you can do, if you have this one selected, go up to track style and press here and choose create style. You can name it if you want. Let's just leave it like this and you can see that it is going to get applied to all of your captions. So if you watch it now from the beginning. The Lightroom is the place where you take your photos from good to great. And with these 15 hacks or tips. Easy as that. And the next text effect is going to be the typewriter text effect. And the easiest way to achieve this is just going to be to use a template for this. And I have one link down, first link in the description. And once you have it installed, you can go to your project here, go up to the workspace and go to caption and graphics and we are just going to search for it typewriter and we are going to just drag and drop this on top of our project and this effect is really simple to use all you have to do is uh, press it go to edit in essential graphics and you can change what you want it to say and this is the new Berger waterfall that is perfect let's see that looks nice, it's just a little bit slow, so what you can do is go down here and you can change the type speed. And we are going to bring that up, let's see, a little bit. That's a lot better. And blinking speed is just how fast the, um, like the white line, the cursor, is blinking in the beginning. And I think 3 is pretty decent for this. Uh, start typing at 1, so it's going to start typing after 1 second. So if we wanted to start typing straight away, we can leave it at zero, but I like having it uh, blinking a little bit before it starts typing. We can just bring that down. So we are going to bring that up one layer, making a copy of it, 
and we're going to change the bottom layer. We are going thick controls, move it down a little bit. We are going to make it smaller. Uh, let's do 25 maybe. Let's bring it up. Something like that. Bring it forward because we wanted to start typing a little bit later. And bring it forward just a little bit more. Make it a little bit smaller. Let's do 22. That's good. And that is pretty much how easy it is to use this typewriter effect. And as I said, if you want to use this, it is linked down below. If you want to take this to the next level, I would also download something like a sound effect for a typewriter. It's just going to take it to another level. But this is one of the text effects that I have used the most on my own social media. I think it looks so sick. All right, and now for the third and last text effect, which is probably the most time consuming one. So again, we have our clip here. We are going to go up to uh, caption and graphics. We uh, want to choose the type tool and we want to write something. Let's do a shorter word. Let's say this is a travel reel or something. So let's just write travel. And we want to change the font. We want to use something more brushy. So let's see brush script maybe. And we want to increase the size of it, center it in the frame. So we have a text here to achieve the write on effect. We are going to go uh, down here to the project and we are going to right click, choose new, new item and we are going to create a transparent video. Press OK and drag that on top of our uh, travel text. And now we can go to our effects tab and we can search for right on and we will take this effect and drag it to our transparent video layer and then with our layer selected, we go up to the effect controls and here you can find the right on effect. So we are going to press brush size and we are going to start increasing the size of the brush. Here I'm probably going to change the workspace to vertical just so that I get a little bit larger screen to work with here. And if you want to zoom in even more, you can do it down here. We can go to maybe 100%. Now you can see the brush size a bit better and if you want to make it even clearer, you can change the color of the brush. Perfect. So we are going to take the brush and we are going to move it. And now we want to move it to where we think that if we would write this text by hand, where would we start? So in this case, we would start up here. So just let's place it there and we are going to create a keyframe. And then we are going to start painting away how you would write this text by hand. And we're going to do it frame by frame. So now that you have made one frame, you can move forwards one frame and change the brush, brush position again. And this can be a rather time consuming and uh, tedious process. So I'm just going to skip through some time here and you will see how it looks when it's finished. Right now that we have traced out the text, we can go to the settings and we want to change the brush spacing just want to add another zero here and we want to change this let's say eight seconds so if we just press through frame by frame you can see sort of how it looks like we are starting to uh, write the text away on the screen all right and now you want to go back to your effects tab and you want to search for track math whoop, track math key and we are going to drag this effect to our text layer, so the travel text layer here. And we are going to go to matte and we're going to press this drop down menu and we are going to choose video 4. So let's go to fit and let's play through. That is how you do the write on text screen effect, text, whatever. Uh, it is quite simple but it is time consuming. Those are three different ways that you can use text on screen to make sure that your video stands out and that you can reach, that your message can reach everyone. But before ending, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has been watching lately. We have been growing like crazy. Uh, for the past 28 days, it's been like 100 new people, which is crazy for me. So I just wanted to say thank you. It is so fun that the community is growing and I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.